And that is why I want to become a dentist. Well, we've got a few minutes left. What questions do you have for me? Oh, crap. I was so focused on being able to answer their questions. I didn't even think about questions to ask them. Uh, uh... The application cycle is well underway, with some of you hopefully already having had some interviews, or at least with some interviews scheduled. I wanted to make a video to help you prepare for your interviews, but I didn't want it to be just the same thing of the 10 most common dental school interview questions and how to answer them. A couple weeks ago, I had the opportunity to participate in a Q&A session with some of our interviewees and some current students. And it was a great opportunity for these prospective students to gain some insight into what it's like to be a dental student at Roseman from current students. And as I was participating in this, it really got me thinking that all of these students, as much as they're hoping the interview goes well, they're also trying to figure out if this program is going to be a good fit for them and if it will allow them to be a successful dental student. And that is as big a part of the interview as it is seeing if you are a good fit for the school. Here are some questions for you to ask during your interview to help you identify if the programs that you're interviewing at would be a good fit for you. Before we get to the questions themselves, I want to add this disclaimer. You do not want to be asking questions that are easily answered somewhere else, maybe on the school's website, during one of the presentations on the interview day, or during a tour. If any of these questions are addressed or answered at any point during the interview day, don't ask them. But that being said, I feel like these are some pretty good questions to address some different aspects of dental school and things that would potentially be important to you as a future dental student. You will spend a lot of time in class during your first couple years of dental school. It's a lot of information and it can be overwhelming. So to set yourself up for success, you should ask, what are some characteristics of your most successful students? And this will give you an idea as to how you can better make the adjustment to dental school. And this adjustment sees people who were top of their class in undergraduate or master's programs struggle and or fail. And I know you're not planning on failing, but on the off chance that you do find yourself struggling, understanding what help is available will be really beneficial so that you can be in an environment where you can succeed. So ask, what resources are there for students who are struggling in classes? Are there tutors available? Can you tell me more about that? Even with all of the material, that you will learn in dental school, sometimes practice management can be skimmed over or not covered at all. If ownership is something that is a goal of yours in the future, you might want to ask, what is included in your school's curriculum to help prepare students for ownership and practice management? They might be able to tell you Maybe they won't be able to tell you, but this can give you an idea as to whether or not they are thinking about preparing their students for these steps and milestones in your career. The hand skills of being a dentist come to everyone at a different pace. Some people pick it up really quickly. Others require a lot of practice. There will also be times throughout your dental school career where you'll want to be in the sim clinic practicing as much as you possibly can. Maybe in preparation for doing a procedure up in the clinic that you haven't done in a while, or like in my case, getting ready for your licensure exam. It was great because as I was preparing, our sim clinic is basically open whenever the school is open, which is really nice for those times when I have wanted to get a lot of practicing in. Other schools have more strict schedules and limited operating hours for their sim clinics. I would recommend you ask, are students able to practice in the sim clinic whenever the school is open or are there specified hours that they have to go in and practice? That way you can have a clear expectation of exactly what it would be like for you and being able to practice in the sim clinic at that school. And along with practicing in sim clinic and wanting to know the hours, 
You should ask about the materials. Some schools, it's included in your tuition and fees and you don't have to pay for any of the materials or teeth from the dispensary. Other schools require you to pay for all of the materials or each of the plastic teeth that you want to practice on. Ask your interviewer, are students required to pay separately for materials and teeth to practice on in Sim Clinic or is that included in tuition and fees? There are a lot of great reasons to participate in organizations during your time in dental school. From making friends, to learning about specialties through special interest groups, attending leadership conferences, and just overall kind of padding your resume in case you want to apply to a specialty residency. A great question to ask your interviewer is what clubs, groups, or organizations can students participate and be a part of here at your school? You can even take this one step further and ask if they are a faculty advisor for any of these groups or organizations and get a better idea as far as the activities or events that they have going on. Other organizations might conduct research on campus. You can ask what research projects are currently being done here at this school? And are you involved in any of those? I am not the right person to tell you anything about participating in research because during my undergrad, I did zero. And during my time in dental school, I've also done no research. So not the best resource regarding research in dental school. Some dental schools will try and sell you on the fact that they get you into the clinic early. And while it sounds great, I try and get a better idea of what that looks like asking when do your students get started in the clinic and what are their roles and responsibilities when they first start. We'll give you an idea as to whether or not you're starting in your first year but you're just standing around more or less or if you have to wait until your third year but then you're a primary provider. While you'll learn a lot about dentistry through your classes, most of dentistry comes through doing it in the clinic. To better understand the clinical experience that a school will provide, Ask something like, what are the average numbers for each procedure your students are at upon graduation? They may or may not know the answer to this question, or maybe it will have been answered somewhere else, but this will give you a better idea as to the clinical experience you will have in school and how busy you'll be during your time in clinic. Along with clinical experience, something else that is important to consider is the exposure that you will have to certain specialties. Maybe the school you're interviewing at has residencies in the school, or maybe it doesn't. If there are residency programs at the school you're interviewing at, asking the question, what experiences can students have with the specialty residencies that are here at the school? Can let you know the exposure that you'll have to these different specialties. Maybe you'll have a short-term rotation through each of the specialties, Maybe you can go down and shadow in the specialty residencies, or maybe they're just kind of separate and you won't have much experience with the specialty residencies. The same holds true for if the school doesn't have any residencies on site. Asking how you gain exposure to the specialties and those procedures will really help you understand if you want to attend this school and if it can help you specialize if that's something that you're thinking about in the future. However, keep in mind that you are going to dental school to become a general dentist. The vast majority of dental school graduates do not specialize, so keep that in mind when asking questions like this. There you have it. There's the questions. I hope that you find these questions useful in identifying whether or not a program is somewhere that you can see yourself being a successful dental student. Yes, I am pretending to have a real conversation, but it's not a real conversation. All for the sake of filming. Yes, I do weird stuff like this when I make videos. And yes, it is just as awkward as it seems.